hello everyone welcome to my unreal engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game so last time we implemented this uh, dynamic uh, gr grass interaction system and today i want to improve this effect to show some kind of a grass trail that means as the character move forward in this grass uh, uh, in through this grassland there should be some kind of a trail that shows the bent grass blades would remain bent for some time so yeah as you can see now only the grass that are around this character are deformed but uh, once the more character moves away they, they 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 become normal without any delay so i'm going to improve this so that there will be some kind of a trail okay so let's get started so first thing we need to do is we need a way to fair way to show some delaying of the deformation that means uh, I'll open this test material and we have this player position like this and uh, I'm going to do Uh, this is uh, what we have for now so instead of this red circle as I move forward there should be some kind of a trail a red trail behind this character so to do that I'm gonna do something like this first I'll rename this player position to P1 and I will add three more vector parameters like this P2 and P3 and in my character this one so this is where I update the character position so here I'm gonna update those three variables as well with some delay so I'll call this p2 and p3 and I need to initialize them with the character position current character position at the beginning so that there will be no trail at the beginning same as this one okay and then Here I'm gonna set P2 and P3 but not directly with some lerp. like this so for a so here i am going to set a set p2 and here set p3 
new value of the p3 p2 should go should go here and the new value of the p3 should go here okay and here this is the new value of the character position and here it should be all value of p2 and set it here and for the alpha i'll put something like 0 0.05 there should be some delay or some difference between this p2 and p1 and similarly for p3 there should be a little more delay than the p3 so i'll set something like this okay so this part is done and here so we don't have this one now so this should be like this and so here I'm gonna do something like this I'm going to duplicate these parts and do this and get the minimum distance of these two values and plug it like this so that I'll get a blending like this so as wait I forgot to change this to P2 right So I should have instead of single circle two circles so yeah as you can see you can see this elongated shape instead of a circle so to have a clear view of defect I'll reduce this to something like let's say 80 and wait until the shade area is compiled right okay so now you can see we already have some kind of a trailer trail not a trailer sorry okay and this is with only two points so let's add the third point as well like this And so here what happens is when we compare uh, there are three points and we take the distance from the absolute world position of the current vec current pixel that we are rendering and take the minimum distance to any of these three points so that so that's how we get that ellipse kind of a shape okay now we should have some a longer trail right now we have this longer trail okay so I'll take this part into my 
MF global function now that we have done the experiment we can migrate this to our MF global function so that should be replaced with which one I'll paste it here and instead of this one I think I should get this one let's see and I think I should do something about this part as well oh, wait let's see what happens just by doing this part and after that let's figure out what to do okay shader is compiled and let's see what happens right so as you can see we have already got some kind of a trail behind the character so it doesn't uh, reset the grass blades once the character moves it has some time after the character moves so yeah like this I had in mind so all right so this is this is uh, all for this video and in the next video I think we will try to improve this effect somehow so see you in the next video goodbye